Jean Stapleton was an American character actress of stage, television and film. Stapleton portrayed Edith Bunker, the perpetually optimistic and devoted wife of Archie Bunker on the 1970s sitcom All in the Family, a role that earned her three Emmys and two Golden Globes for Best Actress in a Comedy Series. She also made occasional appearances on the All in the Family follow-up series Archie Bunker's Place, but asked to be written out of the show during the first season due to becoming tired of the role. Stapleton was born on January the 19th, 1923 in Manhattan, the daughter of Marie A. Stapleton, an opera singer, and Joseph E. Murray, a billboard advertising salesman. Her uncle was a vaudevillian performer, and her brother was a stage actor who inspired her to pursue acting as well. Stapleton began her career in 1941, aged 18, in Summerstock Theatre, and made her New York debut in the off-Broadway play American Gothic. She was featured on Broadway in several hit musicals such as Funny Girl, Juno, Damn Yankees and Bells Are Ringing, recreating her parts from the latter two musicals in the film versions of Damn Yankees in 1958, which was her film debut, and Bells Are Ringing in 1960. Stapleton's early television roles included parts in Starlight Theatre, Robert Montgomery Presents, Lux Video Theatre, Woman with a Past, The Philco Goodyear Television Playhouse, The Patty Duke Show, Dr. Kildare, My Three Sons, Dennis the Menace, Naked City, and as Rosa Crowley in a 1963 episode of NBC's medical drama about psychiatry, The Eleventh Hour entitled The Bride Wore Pink. In 1962, Stapleton guest starred as Mrs. Larson in The Hidden Jungle, an episode of the TV series The Defenders that was broadcast on December the 1st that year, alongside her future All in the Family co-star Carol O'Connor. Stapleton also appeared in the feature films Something Wild in 1961, Up the Down Staircase in 1967, Clute in 1971, and the Norman Lear comedy Cold Turkey, also in 1971. She was offered a role in the feature film Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory in 1971 as Mrs. TV, but declined because it coincided with the production of the All in the Family pilot. Stapleton's best-known role as Edith in All in the Family began in 1971, the show was originally broadcast on the CBS network for nine seasons from January the 12th, 1971 to April the 8th, 1979 for a total of 205 episodes. The role earned her three Emmys and two Golden Globes. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to remember this if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all of our latest content. Feeling her character had run its course, Stapleton continued the role of Edith for only five more episodes in the follow-up series Archie Bunker's Place to help the transition, and then Edith was written out via stroke off-screen in the first episode of season two. Stapleton appeared in the Emmy award-winning TV movie Tail Gunner Joe in 1977, dramatizing the life of US Senator Joseph R. McCarthy and later guest starred in the sixth episode of the third season of The Muppet Show, which was broadcast on September the 30th, 1978. In 1979, she featured in the original Canadian production of the musical Something's Afoot, which was later broadcast on Showtime. She played the title role in the Hallmark Hall of Fame TV movie Aunt Mary, also in 1979, which detailed the true story of Baltimore children's advocate Mary Dobkin. In 1982, Stapleton portrayed Eleanor Roosevelt in the TV movie Eleanor, First Lady of the World, focusing on the subject's later life. The role earned her Emmy and Golden Globe nominations for Best Actress. She continued to guest star in a number of television series during the 1980s, including two episodes of the Fairy Tale Theatre in 1983 and 1985 editions entitled Jack and the Beanstalk 
as the giant's wife and Cinderella as the fairy godmother, Scarecrow and Mrs. King and the love boat. Stapleton also co-starred in the film The Buddy System in 1984 alongside Susan Sarandon and Richard Dreyfuss and played Airy Adney Oliver in the 1986 television adaptation of Dead Man's Folly opposite Peter Ustinov as Hercule Poirot. She declined the role of Jessica Fletcher in the TV series Murder She Wrote which went to Angela Lansbury. From 1990 to 1991, Stapleton co-starred with Whoopi Goldberg in 15 episodes of Baghdad Cafe, the television series based on the movie of the same name. In 1994, Stapleton played the role of Mrs. Pigglewiggle in a children's series of the same name based on the books by Betty MacDonald. In 1996, Stapleton appeared in the educational series Beekman's World as Beekman's mother Beek Mum and also appeared on Everybody Loves Raymond, playing Ray's imperious aunt. The same year, she appeared in the Murphy Brown episode, All in the Family, playing Miles' grandmother, Nana Silverberg, and also played opposite John Travolta in Nora Ephron's hit film, Michael, as the eccentric rooming house owner, Pansy Milbank. Making a debut in the world of video games, Stapleton was the voice of Grandma Ollie on Kinder Active, Turner Pictures and New Line Cinema's venture Grandma Ollie's Morphobet Soup. The game won a Teacher's Choice Award from Learning Magazine. On January the 26th, 1998, Stapleton guest starred on the Gene Smart sitcom Style and Substance in the episode A Recipe for Disaster, playing a former television chef who has an alcohol problem. She voiced John Rolfe's maid, Mrs. Jenkins, in Disney's 1998 direct-to-video animated film Pocahontas 2, Journey to a New World, and appeared in the film You've Got Mail as a close co-worker in whom Meg Ryan's character confides. From 1998, Stapleton took her Eleanor characterization to live theatres now adapted as a one-woman show. In May 2000, Stapleton appeared in Mother's Day, an episode of the TV series Touched by an Angel, portraying an angel named Emma who came to help Celine who was taking care of her late best friend's mother. Stapleton's final acting role was as Irene Silverman in the 2001 fact-based TV movie Like Mother, Like Son, the Strange Story of Santi and Kenny Kimes, starring Mary Tyler Moore as convicted criminal Santi Kimes. Stapleton was inducted into the American Theatre Hall of Fame in 2002. She was also inducted into the Television Hall of Fame that same year. Stapleton was married to William Putch from 1957 until his death in 1983. The couple had two children, actor, writer, director John Putch and television producer Pamela Putch. For 30 years, William Putch directed a summer stock theatre totem pole playhouse at Caledonia State Park in Pennsylvania. Stapleton performed regularly at the theatre with the resident company. Stapleton's brother Jack Stapleton was a stage actor. Her cousin was actress Betty Jane Watson Stapleton was active in the Christian Science Church. She was unrelated to actress Maureen Stapleton, contrary to a common misconception. Stapleton supported Walter Mondale's campaign in the 1984 presidential election and was a vocal supporter of the Equal Rights Amendment and took an active role in the 1977 National Women's Conference. Stapleton rarely appeared on talk shows, but reunited on camera with Carol O'Connor on Donnie and Marie Osmond's show on April the 24th, 2000, a little over a year before O'Connor's death. When the Osmonds asked her to perform in Edith Bunker's voice, she jokingly told them that she only does so for pay. Stapleton admitted that she seldom watched All in the Family, but by 2000 she reconsidered, she told the Archive of American Television. Stapleton died at her apartment in Manhattan on May the 31st, 2013 at age 90. Norman Lear said, No one gave more profound how-to-be-a-human-being lessons than Gene Stapleton. 
Roseanne Barr said that Stapleton's range was unbelievable, deep and majestic. Co-star Rob Reiner said, Working with her was one of the greatest experiences of my life. Sally Struthers said, Jean lived so in the present. She was a Christian scientist who didn't say or think a negative thing. She was just a walking, living angel. The marquee lights on Broadway were dimmed for one minute on June the 5th, 2013 at 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time to honor the memory of Stapleton. She is buried at Lincoln Cemetery in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you have a favorite Gene Stapleton TV show or movie that you like the most or maybe a moment in her career that you remember the most? Let us know in the comments below and if you haven't already done so, click the bell icon to stay updated on all of our latest content.